Hi, this is Brian Cruz with Farmers Feed and Grain. This is June 6th. We're looking at the last field planted of corn for a grower. This field is in great soil tilt condition, very soft, very mellow. It is a <coughs> soybean corn rotation. Had a light tillage done last fall, had some weed pressure, lambs quarters, whatnot. Um, Looking as we go through this field, we see some cutworm injury, and some of that cutworm injury is some of the scissor clipping on the top, as you see here, as well as some of the bites on the side of the corn plant, as you would see on here, as well as some other cosmetic clipping up on top, but then as well burrowing into that growing point. On a normal values on corn, recommendations were 2% loss in stand, you would take a ap application of insecticide to it. As our corn price has been increased, I think we should see that be at 1%. As we see this corn field here behind me is roughly planted at 32,000, we're reduced down now to 28,000. And I think it's important that you actually find the cutworm before you make a choice on spraying. I'm gonna to try to show you this cutworm here that we have grabbed. This guy is a pretty good sized cutworm. And once he unfurls here, he is about inch, inch and a quarter in length. And if he would cooperate with me here, but <clears throat> cutworm, inch and three quarters, inch and a half, we're not as concerned about, but as they are all different size, it seems like, coming out. We know that there are bigger and smaller ones than this. Again, this guy is about an inch and a half, I'm assuming, if I unfurl them. And uh, I would recommend spraying this field. Corn is at V4 here, and some getting closer to V5. I think that uh, once we have corn get that height, it's hard for the black cutworm to take down that corn plant, but I have seen where they do damage it enough to set it back and make it a weed. So when we want every plant we can get, let's uh, take care of these. Any pyrethroid, any insecticide works well with these. Um, and rain afterwards is not a problem. Actually, it works very well to bring that in. So. Again, this is Brian Cruz, your farmer's feed and grain. Check your fields, late planted for cutworm, and be aware of that situation. Thanks.